Let's learn about modulus or modular division operation in C. The symbol for modular division is percentage, but it returns reminder after division operation. So the difference between division and modular division is 10 divided by 5 is 2. 10 modular division of 5 is 0, which is reminder. Also note that you can't use floating point number with modular division. You can only use integer numbers. Also note that sign of reminder is always same as that of its numerator. 10 modulo division 3 is 1, minus 10 modulo division 3 is minus 1, 10 modulo division minus 3 is 1, minus 10 modulo division minus 3 is minus 1. Okay. So one more thing, 10 modulo division 3 is 1, whereas 3 modulo division 10 is 3. That is, if, if smaller number is modulo divided by bigger number, the numerator itself is the reminder. Okay. So note this down, quotient is equal to dividend divided by divisor, reminder is equal to dividend modulo division divisor. So how it works in the background, x modulo division y means x minus x divided by y into y. So let's look at an example. Substitute x and y value, you will get 5 minus 2 into 2, which is 5 minus 4, which is equal to 1. So 5, 5 modulo 2 is 1. Also, you can substitute minus 5 modulo division 2, you will get the result minus 1. So let's check all these things using a C program. Okay. I'll take two integer variables. Integer variables, remember, you can't use floating point variables with modulo division. So I take integer variables A and B. I'll ask the user to enter the values for variable A and B. So I'll store it inside the address of variables A as well as address of variable B. Now percentage D mod percentage D is equal to percentage D which is A comma B comma A modulo division B. Let's do one more thing. I'll copy this and let also, let's also check for division. So everything is same except A divisible by B. So that's it. Let me compile this and execute it. I'll give 10, 10 and 3. So modular division is 1. Reminder is 1. Quotient is 3. So let's check for 10 and 5. A is 10 and B is 5. So, reminder is 0, quotient is 2. Now, important thing, I'll give minus 10, numerator is negative, so reminder must be negative 2. If I give, if it's 0, uh, sign doesn't matter, okay? So, let me show you a positive remind, uh, non-zero reminder, that is, you'll get minus 1 in this case, because numerator is minus. So, now I'll give 10 and minus 3 reminder must be positive 1 because numerator is positive so one more thing I'll give minus 10 and minus 3 now there is the reminder will be minus 1 whatever the sign is present for numerator will be present for reminder so that's it for more outputs and conditions uh, you can visit the link present inside the description section of this youtube video also stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog please share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you